Um, Riley, tell me, what brings you here today? Um, I'm just here to support, and um, you know, I think every kind of body counts right now. Um, I I'd been working, and I really wanted to come down and stay down here or up here. <laughs> um, and it's been the first chance that I've that I've gotten to come. So, and what did you think when you arrived here in Standing Rock? Um, I the first thought that I had and that we all had, the group that I came with, was that it felt so safe, which was um, an incredible, like, it was crazy. It, it just, it feels like the safest place I've ever really been, and it's really peaceful, and, and I don't know, I, I was surprised at how big it is. I couldn't, like, all the articles I've read and photos and um, all the Facebook posts and everything, um, I, you don't really get how big and powerful it is, you know? So it was pretty incredible. And just, you, it felt like, it felt like we were sort of walking into, you know, the past. And um, it, I don't know, lots of different, and emotion, it's really emotional as well, so. And you were down on the front lines today, tell me about yeah. that. Um, we, we got down to the front lines, I think, after they let the tear gas um, go. Um, and we were just down there, um, and the guys were kind of, trying to go up the mountain and um, we're standing on the other side of the river. And what was it like to see that line, that wall of police over there? It was really emotional um, and incredible to see these sort of, you know, I don't know, it was incredible to see the young native warriors fighting for their rights and people and it was really emotional. We were kind of just standing back and watching a bit because it was a lot to take in. <laughs> wow. And why do you support these water protectors here? Oh God, that's like so many reasons. Um, first, just that you know, water is—it's it, crazy. We even have to fight over water. It just—it's—it's it's a horrible, you know. Secondly, to try and run that through um, a reservation and through their water source is just really disturbing to me. Um, you know, also I think indigenous people have been through way too much already and that it's just ridiculous that this is actually happening in 2016. If your late grandfather was still with us today, how do you think he'd feel about you being here? I'm sure he, I, I'd like to think he'd be here. I think, I don't know, I'm sure he would. I didn't know him, but he seems like the kind of person that, that would have. So tell me about your life. You must have grown up an incredible life with this legacy of your late grandfather. Tell me a bit about that. Um, I think if it was just sort of normal for me. It wasn't um, weird. Is all I knew. And what do you want to share with us about your, your, your family, your legacy? What would you hope to get into music as well? Tell me a bit about you and your career. I'm just, just film acting and uh, directing. I mean, I'm not really good at music stuff. The rest of my family is. I'm not really good at it, though. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Tell me what some of your projects you're working on right now. Um, I'm working on, um, I'm working on a film. I, I, I have I have a bit of time off over uh, the holidays, so hopefully I'll just be working on Standing Rock and Cannonball. Um, okay, so tell me what you're working on right now. Right now, I'm just working on being here and um, spending as much time as I can trying to help out with this peaceful protest. And tell me what you did here today. Did you bring some stuff? Today we brought, um, we just went to the grocery store and just got a bunch of stuff. I heard that they, you told me they needed socks and gloves and um, we brought food for the kitchen and some sanitary stuff and just anything we could think of. Um, I think next weekend we're going to get like a, a list of stuff people actually need, but it's crazy. There's so many donations. It's amazing. And if this gets violent here and the military does move in, um, what do you think about that? Um, if who gets violent, you know? Like if, I mean the military, the military is already kind of, our police or whoever, whoever's up there now, they're already, they already have been violent, you know? They're tear gassing people and shooting people with rubber bullets and like that's pretty violent, you know? So, I mean, I think the world will kind of decide what's right and wrong, and I think they kind of are, you know, from what I, what I can see. Absolutely. 
Anything else you want to say? Um, just come to Standing Rock if you can, and you know everybody. I think I think everybody helps. Every 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 other every even one person or two people or you know bringing anything anything you can bring. I think it really helps right now, and especially with the winter coming. If if anyone can send up winter stuff or donate things if they can't come. I, being here is showing me how much like every little thing actually, you know, helps. So